Hello, I'm Benjamin Sullivan, and welcome to another episode of Ben's Tech Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a low-profile graphics card in a small form factor desktop computer. Let me start by explaining what a graphics card is. A graphics card, also known as a video card or GPU for graphical processing unit, is the device inside your computer that produces all of the videos and all of the images that are then projected onto your computer's monitor. It is also the device that allows you to attach your monitor to your computer. When you're connecting your monitor to your computer, you use a cable, and one end of the cable plugs into the monitor and the other end plugs into the computer, right? Yes, but there's a little more to it than just that. When you're connecting a monitor to your computer, you're not just plugging the, the one end of the cable into the computer. What you're doing is you're taking that end of the cable and you're plugging it into a video port that's on your computer's graphics card. Now, video cards come in two different styles, onboard and physical. Onboard video cards are video cards that are built into your computer's motherboard, which means they cannot be removed or replaced. Let me show you an example. So let's take a look at this computer right here. Notice how here we have the monitor. And right here, this is our monitor cable. Right here, this is the cable where one end plugs into the monitor. And notice how the other end plugs into the back of the computer. Well, it's actually plugged into an onboard video card. So let me show you. Let's go ahead and open up the case. So you can see the big old circuit in the back, that's all the motherboard. And so you can see right there, that's where the video card is plugged into. So that's an onboard video card right there. See, there's the monitor cable plugged into the onboard video card. And then if you look down here in that blue slot, that's where we would plug in the other type of video card called a physical card. So the other type of video cards, physical video cards, are an actual physical card that you can plug into a slot on your motherboard, and therefore they can be removed or replaced with another video card if needed. Now most, but not all, motherboards have onboard video. If you have a motherboard that doesn't have onboard video, then you have to have a physical video card installed in order to use your computer. Now you're probably thinking, if my computer has onboard video, then I don't need to install a physical video card, right? Or you're probably asking yourself, why should I install a physical video card if my motherboard already has onboard video? Well, the answer is, you don't have to have a physical video card if your motherboard has onboard video. However, onboard video cards are generally not as powerful as physical video cards. So if you use your computer for basic computer use like web browsing, word processing, watching YouTube videos, then onboard video is just fine. But if you're going to be doing tasks that require a lot of video power like gaming or 3D modeling or video editing, you will get much better performance with a physical video card. In fact, most of today's newer games don't even work on an onboard video. You have to have a physical card. Now, if you go online shopping for a video card, you'll see that there are so many different kinds to choose from. However, most of them are big and bulky because they're designed to fit inside full-size desktop cases, also known as ATX cases. So if you're asking yourself, how can I possibly install this massive graphics card inside this little case? Well, unfortunately, the simple answer is you can't. If you want to install a physical graphics card inside a small form factor PC, then you have to use a video card that specifically says low profile. 
The problem is, of all the different graphics cards that are on the market, only a small portion of them come in low profile form, and the ones that are low profile are not the highest end cards. So, that being said, if you're a hardcore PC gamer and you want a high-end graphics card but all you have is a small form factor PC, well, the truth is you're better off just buying a brand new gaming computer that comes in a full-size case. That way you can get any graphics card you want. But I understand that can be very expensive, so if all you have is a small form factor PC, then a cheaper alternative is to buy a decent low profile video card and install it in your small form factor PC. As long as you understand that it's not going to be a high end gaming PC, you may have to sacrifice the ultra settings and settle for medium settings on a lot of the games, but if you get a good low profile video card, you can turn your small form factor PC into a decent gaming PC for a much cheaper price than buying a brand new high end gaming PC. Now as I said before, when it comes to purchasing a low profile graphics card, your options are limited, but this is supposed to be one of the better ones. This is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti with 4 gigabytes of video RAM. It may not be the best one you can get, but it's one of the best. It's better than most low profile graphics cards, but compared to a full size graphics card, look at the size difference. So, let's install this little guy in this system and give it a try. So the first thing we are going to do is make sure the computer is shut down, which it is. Then we're going to go ahead and lay the computer on its side right down here in the work area. Okay, so the computer is lying down on its side. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power cable and the video cable as well. Here's the video cable that's plugged into the onboard video. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that. Now let's go ahead and open up the case. Okay, so the case is open. We're looking inside at the motherboard and you see this blue slot right there. That's the PCI Express slot where we're going to install our low profile video card. So first we need to go ahead and open this up and we need to take these little brackets out and it looks like the video card is going to use two slots so we're going to take both of these out and now I'll go grab the video card okay so here's the graphics card right here and so you see all these gold pin connectors right here notice how it's going to fit into the blue slot right there so I just have to carefully line it up There we go. Now it's kind of hard to see, but basically I just need to have the pins line up with the blue and then lock it in place. Okay, so here's our computer and here's the physical video card that we just installed into the PCI Express slot. So just going to carefully press on it, make sure it's locked in place, which it is. And now we can go ahead and close this up. Okay, so now our low profile video card has been physically installed. So now we need to plug in the video cable, which is right here. So let me explain how this works. Because you remember earlier, it was plugged into one of these ports up here because it was plugged into onboard video because it had to be because it didn't have a physical card. Now the way most motherboards work is if there's onboard video and there's no physical card, it'll make sure that the onboard video is turned on. But if you install a physical card, then by default, it will disable the onboard video. So now that we have a physical card, the onboard video will now be disabled. So that means we need to take the cable, the video cable, and we need to make sure we plug it into this port that's on the video card we just installed. So instead of being plugged in up here, it's now plugged into the card that we just installed. So now let's go ahead and put the cover back on and stand the computer back up. Okay, so the computer is standing up and the cover is back on. We've got the, the display port cable plugged into the new video card we just installed. Now let's go ahead and plug the power cable back in. Okay. So now let's go ahead and turn it on and if it was installed properly we should get an image on the screen. Let's see what happens. There we go. 
All right, we're, we're seeing the Dell logo. That means the, the video card was properly installed. So, as you can see, we've got a picture on the screen, so it looks like the physical installation of the video card was a success. However, we're not quite done yet. In order for the video card to work properly, we need to make sure that the driver is installed. Now, most of the time, as long as you're connected to the internet, the computer will automatically find the driver and download it for you through Windows Update, but that doesn't always happen, so I'm going to show you how we can verify that the driver is installed. Okay, so here we are on the computer after we physically installed the physical video card. Now let's check the status of the driver. Easiest way to tell is to go down here where it says type here to search and we're going to type DXDIAG. That's the command for DirectX Diagnostic and we're going to click on this. And so here's all of our system information. We're going to go up to the display tab and right here under the display tab notice how under name it says NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti so that's a good sign that means that the computer knows what type of video card it is and it means the driver is installed and we can see over here the driver files and notice how it's a recent date so everything looks good but let me give you an example let me show you a screenshot of, the, of if the driver had not been installed Notice how in this screenshot it says Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So if it says Microsoft Basic Display Adapter, that means the driver for the video card has not been installed yet. And so there's a couple options. One option is you can wait and see if it eventually corrects itself. Sometimes it'll do that automatically through Windows Update. Another option is you can just go into the settings and search Windows Update to see if it finds the driver or the best option would be to just download the driver manually and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to open up Google Chrome and we're going to go to the NVIDIA website NVIDIA.com and from here we're going to click on drivers at the very top. Click on drivers And then on this screen, we would just select all the information for our video card. We would select GeForce 10 series, and then 1050 Ti, Windows 10 64-bit, Game Ready, English, and hit Search. And then what we would do is we would click on Download to download the file, and then run that file to install the driver. But since we verified that we already have the driver, we're already good to go. Okay, so we successfully installed a physical low-profile video card into this small form factor desktop computer, and we verified that the driver is installed. So we're done, right? Well, technically yes, technically we're done, but I have an idea. How about we make sure it really works by testing out a game on it? Hey, why not, right? Gotta have some fun, right? So, let's go ahead and play a little bit of the 2016 version of Doom and let's see how it runs. Okay, let's see how well it plays on this low-profile video card. Here comes the ultimate test. Wow, beautiful graphics. Nice and smooth. Let's see if I can make the jump. Didn't quite make it. That's all right. Look at all that fire. Got to get the relic. Hey, out of my way. Nice. Well, I can confirm that the graphics are gorgeous, the frame rates are high, the resolution is high. 
So yeah, we turned this into a decent gaming system just by installing a low-profile video card. It's working quite well. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I wasn't sure how well this was gonna perform, but it's actually performing a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found it very useful. If you like what you see, please subscribe if you haven't already. New videos coming soon. Have a great day, everyone.